Richard Neustadt, said that the presidential power is the power to persuade. And that just means that the president might have all these prerogative powers, but at the end of the day, if we want him to meet our expectations, the way he's going to have to do that is by persuading other people to go along with him. And they do that by working with Congress, by bargaining, by persuading, by trying to make deals and get Congress and the bureaucrats within his executive branch, maybe even the courts in the judicial branch, to go along with what he wants. The president has to resort to command. Newstead argues that this is actually showing a weakness because the president's power to persuade should be enough. So if it isn't, if the president can't persuade others to go along with him, then he is in some way weak. Now, the president's power to persuade comes from three key elements. His position, his basically statutory power. So if he wants to persuade Congress to go along with something, he's going to have a lot better of a chance of doing it if he can say, well, look, I could issue an executive order to do this, but I'd like it to be done through Congress. It's going to give him more bargaining power. His reputation. OK, he said to Congress, hey, if you don't do this, I'll issue an executive order, but I want to work with you. So now does he have a reputation of following through on those kind of threats? So if Congress says, no, no, we're not working with you, will he actually ever issue that executive order? If he will, then, you know, you got to work with him more than if you're like, he's never going to do it. And of course, his public prestige. The more popular a president is, the more likely Congress is going to get on board with him. This is in part because Congress is going to be able to secure their own reelection chances by doing things for popular presidents. And on the flip side, it might hurt a Congress member to do things for an unpopular president. So the more popular president is, the stronger their power to persuade, the less popular, the weaker their power to persuade.